Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday afternoon to you. We're in the spirit of the Lord's day today. Amen. And I want to get right to the point. This is Benefits of Praise, Part 2. Now yesterday I talked to you about the benefits of praise. Now there are benefits to serving the Lord, benefits to obeying God. And uh, the benefit, number one yesterday, was that praise brings the presence of God into our life. Praise is a sacrifice, number two, pleasing the Lord. And praise silences the foe and the avenger of our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. As we praise Him, His presence come down and the enemy leaves in great thoughts, Holy Spirit thoughts, destiny thoughts. Uh, for God's thoughts toward us are very, very good. Amen. And so that was part one. Today I want to continue on the benefits of praise. It pays and brings benefits to be a praiser and be thankful to the Lord. You know, many of us just simply need to count our blessings and thank and praise God for the answers He's given, for the blessings that He's brought us, for the very air we've received and breathed. Amen. God is faithful and God is good. He sends rain on the just and the unjust. And we need to praise Him for His wonderful acts of greatness. Praise Him for His kindness. Praise Him, amen, for His just absolute love for us. He loved us when nobody else did. He reached down into the miry clay and set our feet on a rock to stay because He loves us and He's worthy of praise. So, today I want to talk to you that praise and thanksgiving opens up the way for God to show us his salvation. Psalms 50 verse 23 says so. Amen. And so as we praise him uh, for his goodness, praise him for his excellent greatness, praise him and thank him. Amen. It actually makes like a, it opens up the heavens. It like It's like a door for God to come down and show you his salvation. Uh, his wholeness in your life, his completeness, his provision, his power, his deliverance, his healing, his guidance, his direction. I'm telling you, praise opens up the way for God to show you his salvation and bless your life. Quit whining, quit complaining, quit blaming everybody else, and open your mouth, amen, if you're a child of God, and begin to praise him. Hallelujah. And glory to God. You know, Jesus told him, he said, I can make these rocks cry out in praise. And like the old saying is, ain't no rock going to cry out for me. Amen. I'm going to praise him because he's worthy of praise. I know where I've been. I know where I'm at and I know where I'm going because his thoughts toward me are good. His thoughts toward you are good. So he's worthy to be praised. Praise him in advance. If you need salvation, praise him and thank him for saving you. If you need healing, thank him because by his stripes you are healed. Amen. If you need financial blessing, praise him as Jehovah Jireh. The Lord who meets every need, <laughs> glory to God. He's worthy of praise. Shout, he's worthy of praise. So it opens up the way for God to come in and show you his salvation. And, and, and number five is this. Praise brings provision. In Second Chronicles 20, one of my favorite portions of scripture, the enemy's coming against God's people. Jehoshaphat calls a prayer meeting. And they begin to seek the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord comes on uh, a, a guy who begins to prophesy and speak forth what they needed to do. Jehoshaphat and then receive the word. And here's what happens. Instead of sending the army out first, Jehoshaphat consults with everybody and sends the praisers out first. Amen. Sends the choir and the singers out first. So they begin marching toward the enemy in obedience to God, singing, praise the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. About that time, the Lord prays at ambushments. The enemy turned on each other. They began to kill each other off. Amen. And when Israel, the army of Jehoshaphat and God, got there, they found everybody gone, everybody dead. 
There was gold, jewelry, clothing, food, every provision, man. Praise brings provision. See, many of you are going through some rough spots now. Uh, but if you will just trust God, be a giver, and praise Him, God will bring you the provision you need. For God cannot be worsted. Never have the righteous been forsaken, my friends, nor their children beg for bread. Amen. So that when they got there, they found the enemy was gone. The enemy was dead. And it took them three days. Now, not one, not two, but three days to gather the spoil. So, my friends, the benefits of praise are endless. Praise Him for His excellent greatness. The Lord be magnified who delights in the well-being of His servants. So be a praiser, be an encourager, be a worshiper. For God seeks those who worship Him in spirit and in truth. And I'm telling you, it brings benefit. Praise God. What a benefit package we have in Jesus. God bless you. Open your mouth. And begin to praise Him. For life and death is in the power of the tongue. So speak life. Praise Him. Life will come. Blessing will come. Salvation will come. Provision will come. His presence will come. For when we're in our praise, we're in our power. Amen. Receive it and praise Him all the rest of your days. Amen. And God bless you.